Um, after five, I'm going to give you two minutes, you and one minute. Okay, yeah, it doesn't take me long to do those reverses, okay. though. Are we supposed to do ten minutes? Is that eight? eight. eight. Minutes, All right, five. fine. That'll, that'll be swell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we promise we're not going to giggle through the whole <laughs> <Right>. thing. <laughs> Yeah. Well, here we are, Lily and Bobby. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice to have you back in Dallas, Lily. Thank you, Bobby. It's been a while. Yeah, I haven't been here for uh, three or four years, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's true, to perform. But uh, now you're here on a very happy occasion because uh, 9 to 5 looks like it's going to be a big audience picture. I oh, good. Thank you. Don't you think? I think so. I think it's a lot of fun. I think people basically really respond to it. What was so. your attitude going into this, Lily? Did you have any nervousness at all about going into it? Uh, yes. Well, not going into it. I was real excited to work with Jane and Dolly, but uh, after I after I started the movie because I came in a week and a half after they did because I was working on another picture and so I was sort of like the new, it's like going to a new school when you start a new job like that and the first couple of days of dailies I looked so nervous and tense you know on the screen and I thought oh no I'm just gonna be awful so I thought I better tell Bruce Gilbert the producer before we go too far that it's okay if he replaces me you know I wanted him to be to know that I understood and it was okay, and uh, and I called him on the weekend and I said, Bruce, you, I, I want you to know that you, you feel free to replace me. And I went through that whole trip, and of course he, I mean, I don't think he had that in his mind at any time. And and um, then then on Monday I saw Friday's dailies and I was pretty good, so I said, I asked him if he would change. Take, take back what I said, because <laughs> then I was real. Then I was real happy and hopeful that I was going to do good. You know. Have you ever wanted to be blonde and sexy like Dolly Parton? I could be if I wanted to be. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> well, I mean, I could be blonde. That's for sure. Uh -huh. And um, I mean, there's all different kinds of sex appeal. Bosomy. Yes. Uh, Ever well, want to be bosomy like that? Well, you that? know, I like, no, I never have, frankly. I think it's, uh, I mean, I think Dolly has absolutely, um, you know, um, she has such great humor about everything and about herself, and she's uh, turned it into a, a pretty terrific thing. But I think it's, uh, I mean, like, you know, there's a scene in the movie where she's, because she's the boss's secretary and he's been lying about her, saying he sleeps with her and everything. And so she's kind of ostracized in the office. And there's a scene where she has to eat lunch by herself. And Judy, who is uh, Dolly's secretary and an old childhood friend, grew up with her in Tennessee and everything, she had to leave the set that day in tears because she said it was so close to the truth, you know, when they were girls growing up and Dolly was so, was ostracized as a, you know, adolescent and a teenager and, and you can imagine how that would have been for her, her being so different and, um, and I'm sure that, it, you know, it, ha it certainly has its drawbacks too, but, but and particularly when you're a child, you know, in, in, in teenage years and so on. But no, I, I'm happy with how I am. I love to hear somebody say that. That is so, you know, are you really all that secure? Not many people. Well, I don't are. know if that, I don't think security has anything to do with it. I just, I mean, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty familiar and comfortable with who I am. I, I think I'd be pretty shocked if I looked up and I was somebody else. In fact, you know, one of the most frightening things is to see a close friend of yours uh, in costume, or if they have a, a facial appliance on. You know, if they, if they're in a play and they want to change their nose or their chin or something, and sometimes. They can get a certain, you know, and it's not always as scary as other times, but I had a girlfriend who was in a play once, and she changed her nose for the play, and I couldn't be in the dressing room with her. I'd go backstage and hear her voice coming out of this strange face, and it was just, it made me very uneasy, you know? It's a, uh, I, I think I'd be happy. I don't think I'd want to change myself to, to too, much, too much degree, you know? I like I mean, you. you always change a little something here or there pluck your eyebrows or something. <laughs> Try a new rinse or something. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, after some of the reviews of Moment by Moment that were so uh, disappointing, 
Did did you ever have the feeling like, well, there goes my film career? Or did you did, was it a downer and depressing time for you? Yes, certainly, very much so. Very, very, very disappointing. And I I never really thought that that I was uh, my career was finished or anything, but I knew that uh, that it was certainly a reversal, and um, and that I would that it would be very. <laughs> you know, that it would be very important for me to uh, have another success sometime, you know, on the heels of it. But, um, but and I'm, it's disappointing for anybody. I mean, it's a very hard thing to, uh, to accept and go through, but you do. Did you regret that you made the movie? No, in, in retrospect, I absolutely don't. I mean, um, you just... Um, I mean, I wouldn't be, how can you do, I mean, I wouldn't be who I am or what I'm doing if I hadn't. I mean, I, I, I guess I hold everything that I do precious, ultimately, you know, like because, I, because it's sort of mine and I'm going to own it and it's mine and I'll stick with it, you know, and uh, stand behind it. And, and, if, and I learned a great deal doing it. I mean, it was a, to have a devastating experience like that is a, a professional experience is, uh, it's enlightening. You ha I'd never had one quite like it. Uh, not that I'd never had anybody say anything bad about me, uh, but still, never to anything to that degree or on that scale. And, the, and, and it's the thing that all performers live in terror of. They think, oh my, you know, of that kind of absolute rejection. Um, and you see, I, I didn't die from it. <laughs> so when you, when you, when you, uh, when you make, when you live through that, you and you realize. A lot of a lot you get a lot more perspective about a lot of things. Even though I thought I had a lot of perspective then, I think I have more perspective now. So I value it, you know. And it's what happened to me. So. You have another film coming out, The Incredible Shrinking Woman, yes. and I've read just a little bit about it. And uh, you know, it's really a very tantalizing idea. That if I understand it now, she something makes her shrink and she gets smaller and smaller and yes. smaller? Yes, she's like a perfect, happy uh, uh, valley housewife in California, married to a very loving, sweet uh, guy. Chuck Groden plays my husband. He's in advertising. And we have two darling children. And the movie's very fantasy and wonderful. Uh, I mean, it, the colors are very fantasy-like, you know, very uh, saturated pastels. And, uh, and we're just idyllic. And we had, and we built Pat. Her name is Pat Kramer. So we built her house on the lot, and uh, literally built a house except for the roof. And you play two roles. Don't you? Oh yeah, and That's I play. I use my old character, Mrs. Beasley, as her next door neighbor. How, did, how does Mrs. Beasley sound? I forget. Oh, she's uh, well. Mrs. Beasley's the character I first started doing, and she used to do commercials uh, way back in the when I first did my first special. She did a commercial where she was uh, doing for detergent, and while she's sorting her, she says, uh, "I have brought some samples from my own family war." She's going to demonstrate. And as she's sorting the laundry, you know, she finds lipstick on her husband's collar. She says, uh, she, first she looks at it, she says, see this diaper dull and dingy, disgusting. And she throws it in, she says, and look at these grass stains on Billy's chinos. These are really tough. And then she goes to pick up that shirt, and she says, and here are these lipstick stains on my husband's collar. And then the revelation <laughs> hits her, but, she, but as she is, she's so strong of character and so earnest. I mean, this is what I, I just love her because... Uh, uh, because she is so earnest, and she's like my mother and my aunts. I mean, that's who I always had in mind. I think, you know what, I've come to think that I do characters um, for people that I had, like, a great feeling for, you know, and I don't want to see them, like, get away from me or something. It's almost like being able to keep them around longer or something. So, in fact, my brother turned to me the other day. We were at the theater, and I was like, because Mrs. Beasley's kind of like, um, kind of does, you know, uh, she's very earnest and very sincere and very kind. Her consciousness has been raised since she did. She doesn't do commercials anymore. She speaks out for consumers advocates now. <laughs> but my brother turned, he says, you're getting more like Mrs. Beasley every day. <laughs> did you hit him? <laughs> no, I started laughing, you know, because I thought it probably is true. I was kind of sitting there kind of ruminating, you know, and about like my mother or my Aunt Irma D would. And oh, God, I laughed so hard because but all the people, he's the one who is, would really know, you know. Lily, continued good luck to you. Nine to five, I just know is going to be a whopping success for well, you. Well, thank you. And don't wait so long to come back and see us. Okay, I won't. Nice thank to you. see you, Lily. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll give you some reactions first. I'll talk for you so you can have some reactions. It's so hard, isn't it? Uh -uh. Oh, God. It's not for me. Oh, good. <laughs> and I, I did love doing Mrs. Beasley in the movie. Here's the kind of thing she would say. She'd say, like, to think I might have been destroying the ozone layer in my own neighborhood. <laughs> Okay, let's do questions now. <laughs> All right. Lily, did you approach this role with any kind of nervousness? Okay. Have you ever thought you'd like to be a sexy, bosomy, blonde like Dolly Parton? Are you really all that secure? Okay, I keep going. Um, Lily, it had to be difficult for you. When Moment by Moment came out, there were some very disappointing reviews. Was there ever a time then that you thought, well, there goes the old career? Okay. Uh, all right. You have another movie coming out in the near future, The Incredible Shrinking Woman. I don't know if I remember. How does Mrs. Beasley sound? Mm 